Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. And today to share with you the results that I've got on these two uh, discs, SSD through SATA and SSD through M.2 NVMe connection which is the fastest that I've used so far. Now crazy fast we are talking about a maximum read speed of 3500 megabytes per second which is crazy and I'll give you the results in just a few moments. There will be some of you guys that will say hey Robert but 2500, 3500 we will almost not notice and I have to agree with that but it's just incredible how technology goes and in this particular case this will be my main disk for my Windows computer right over there which is crazy crazy fast actually faster than what I've got on my Mac mini and MacBook Pro but I'll share that results with you now starting with the NVMe which is the HP model EX950 one terabyte that I've got right over here in terms of crystal disk mark speeds the maximum that I got as you guys can see was 3500 megabytes on reads and 3000 on writes which once again is just just crazy speeds now I also tested on Windows with black magic disk speed and I was getting roughly 2500 and 3000 megabytes per second both on reads and on writes as you guys know black magic will always give us a different result a different average crystal disk mark will do a lot of results sequential reads and random reads and so on and so forth so you guys have all the numbers that you need right there on the screen so that it helps to make your decision if you want a really fast uh, SSD like this one or a slower one which we'll get into that but the thing that really surprised me was that the fastest machines that I've got in terms of storage is my MacBook Pro the last generation at the moment of the recording and the same with my Mac mini last generation at the uh, time of recording and I get roughly 2500 2600 read which is a incredible speed and roughly 1300 1400 megabytes per second on writes which is once again crazy fast once I did try the EX950 uh, you can imagine that I was really really happy and I'm really happy to share this information with you guys and we know that sometimes it's just the question of a few milliseconds uh, starting your computer or opening apps and things like that but a millisecond is a millisecond and here we will find a great great experience now uh, looking at the SSD uh, S700 which is a SATA um, disk so we are limited to the SATA connection here we got regular results compared with other SSDs that we have used here on the past and as you can see once again connected to my Windows machine I was getting roughly on crystal disk mark a maximum speed of 560 megabytes per second on reads and 510 on writes and of course you can check out the rest of the results in terms of random writes and reads on disk speed uh, black magic design I was getting roughly 530 megabytes per second on reads and 480 on writes now for those of you that are curious uh, as we always do here I always test them on a UASP supported external case connected via USB 3.0 and in this particular case with a USB type C adapter which we will always lose a bit of speed but the results that I can give you right over here so that you guys can compare with other SSDs that we have tested and that are available on the market is roughly 410 on reads and 370 megabytes per second on write. So as you can see we will always lose from the SATA connection directly to the motherboard when we uh, connect to an interface via USB but sometimes it is a solution I've shared with you guys a lot of videos right over here how to turn a few older computers including Apple computers using an external SSD such as this one inside a cheap enclosure, enclosure with UASP support and here it is another solution that we can use for one of these scenarios guys hopefully this video was helpful in some way and that you find the information useful to make your decision once again crazy crazy speeds for those of you that love technology and that want I don't know the fastest at least that I've used this is great that is it hope that you guys enjoyed once again and if you did don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one